so we have an open road so it's very nice and also the thing is even when you are in the fourth gear or the fifth gear you can be in a speed of around uh, 40 km also that means there is no knocking what's up youtube welcome to the first ride impression of the pulsar ns160 this exactly look like the ns200 bajaj has given a chance to the 160 cc people that you should also feel how a 200 cc feel like when you have the comfort and the mileage of a 160 cc engine so this is the latest version of it so if you ask me what all the updated things on this ns160 pretty simple look at the front side the suspension usd is the main thing so the ride feel has gone a little stiffer that means you have a lot of control on the bike brakes the same as like the ns200 that means brilliant brakes very 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 nice brake and dual channel abs plus the abs is not actually meddling too much with the rider's rideability because it's only kicking in when it is needed i can feel that even though the brakes are sharper the abs is actually staying in its own line and helping the rider and yes plus the dual channel abs and also it comes with fatter tires that means more planted feel and there you have the 160 cc engine which actually looks a little smaller when you come from a 200 cc like the ns200 then you get a kicker on this and the paint scheme actually looks very neat you look at this whole of the motor actually this looks so nice look at the headlight look at that tank section and the rear panel that also looks very very nice and sporty and when it comes to the tail section also it looks absolutely brilliant the way the grab rail is placed you can really hold on to the grab rail it is not interfering with the pillion seat and the reach to the pillion foot peg is also nice so let's get on the motorcycle and i'll explain you more so this motorcycle is not a tall motorcycle you can see that almost planted foot on both sides and when i sit on the motorcycle this is my normal riding stance a little bit of lean angle and that's it not too much we are not too much going away from the commuter stance and to talk about the switches on the handlebar this is the pass switch high beam and the low beam indicator and the horn and here we have the kill switch and the ignition just one update on the quality of the switch is that everything is good except this indicator this indicator is not so easy to use that's all and when we look into the dial We see the warning lights over here, the big analog tachometer which shows a red line at 9.5 and the fuel level indicator, time, speedometer, odometer, two trip meter, distance to empty, running mileage and the RPM limit light over here. That means you have good amount of information which is actually required. So let's go for a ride. It actually sounds sweet, it doesn't feel like normal commuter motorcycle. It has got a little bit of that racing motorcycle DNA in it, that's what I have to say. So when I ride through this a bit of a off-road patch, what I can feel is that there are no actually ground clearance issues with the motorcycle. Second thing, the suspension, the front suspension is on to a little harder side. So this suspension won't be supporting you in a great manner when you go off-roads, but this motorcycle is actually road or in the motorcycle. It's actually good if you're using it as a commuter. So let me show the power delivery from here. So we have an open road yeah that's pretty quick three is that hundred and no time so in a 160 cc standard I'll say that this is much quicker and it's much engaging. So if you ask me about the engine, the engine is actually very refined. There are no unwanted kind of vibration which is coming onto the rider's body. So it's much refined and actually the motorcycle actually asks you to rev hard. So this is that kind of a motorcycle, same as the character of the NS200. So it's very nice and also the thing is, even when you are in the fourth gear or the fifth gear, you can be in a speed of around uh, 40 km also. That means there is no knocking. I can show that to you. We are in 40s and almost in 30s and we are in the fifth gear so this is a five speed gearbox so there is no knocking the motorcycle is actually comfortable in that way also as well that means on the top rev range and on the bottom rev range the motorcycle is much comfortable and if you ask me how easy it is to ride i'll say that with the upside down fox and when you have a good road this is much easy to ride the way you can flick this motorcycle has changed a lot it's becoming much easy and if you ask me about the clutch feel and the gearbox the clutch is actually onto a softer side and the gearbox is actually crisp until now i didn't face any heating issues i didn't ride it too much inside the city 
but still what i can see is that even after riding it i didn't face any kind of heat issues turning rate is if you ask me so when we look from a commuter motorcycle point of view then i'll say that the, the turning rate is a little higher uh, let's look at the ownership part so this motorcycle is actually x showroom 135000 that means it is almost 7000 rupees more than the previous version of this ns160 and the mileage claim from bajaj is something like a uh, 47 km per liter and looking onto the previous owners post and all in the internet what i can see is that people are getting actually 45 to 47 uh in real life so that means you can get a good mileage as well and uh, to talk about the service details the first three services are like free service and from then on we'll have the paid service and paid service is something like 600 rupees to 1000 rupees that is also much affordable so let's quickly summarize all the points that i've got here after riding this motorcycle for uh, this long so if you are looking for an engaging commuter motorcycle then this is for you that means you can rev it hard still you get a good mileage if you want to travel from point a to point b it is good if you ask me if it's a good tourer then i'll say that it's not a great tourer you can take this motorcycle anywhere you can use it as a tourer no problem but the thing is if you buy an ns200 you will be much more happy because you'll get that top end and you'll carry a little more speed you can be at that 110 or 120 km per hour mark this one i feel that you'll be almost cruising at a speed of 80 to 90 but much comfortable so this is not a great touring motorcycle but still a good touring motorcycle since you can push the motorcycle to that extent and uh, if you are coming from uh, an activa or, or that kind of a scooter that means a very lighter motorcycle scooter setup then i'll say that in the beginning you will feel that this is a bigger and a heavier motorcycle because this is a complete ns200 with the ns160 engine so you will definitely feel that this is a 200 cc motorcycle when you sit on it you don't really feel any difference sitting on an ns200 i can 100% say you that so in the beginning you might feel that this is a bigger motorcycle but you will definitely get used to it and there is no intimidating part you can be very comfortably use it inside the city and get it on the highway as well so that's my personal take on this motorcycle so if you have any doubts on the motorcycle do let me know in the comment section and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye